Donington Castle is a 14th century castle demolished in 1646. Only the gatehouse remains standing. The castle sits atop a hill in Donington, Newbury, overlooking the picturesque woods and grassy plains of the Lambourne Valley. Today, Donington Castle is open to the public and free to visit. Built in 1386 by Sir Richard Aberbury, Donington Castle would play a significant part in the English Civil War. Donington managed to withstand one of the longest sieges in the First English Civil War, lasting around 18 months from 1644 to 1646. The star-shaped earthworks from the Civil War can still be seen around the castle. In 1646, Parliament voted to demolish the castle. Today, only the gatehouse survives. Spooky fact number one, it is said the ghost of a Civil War guard stands on the grounds. So life like that most mistake him for a historic actor, but silent if you speak to him. If you see an on-site actor, but he does not reply to you, slowly back away. 1287, Thomas de Aberbury purchased the estate of Donington. At the time, the estate would have only been a manor house. 1353, Sir Richard Aberbury inherited the Donington Manor. He had been a companion of Edward the Black Prince, Richard II's father, at the battles of Cressy and Poitiers. Then, he went on to become the Chamberlain to Queen Anne of Bohemia. The first wife of Richard II, and this led to the accumulation of his wealth which allowed him to upgrade his estate. 1386, Sir Richard Aberbury the Elder was granted a license by Richard II to fortify the Donington Manor House. Thus, it became known as Donington Castle. Donington Castle is a quadrangular castle, a typical style of fortified estates from this era. It originally consisted of a curtain wall with two square wall towers four round corner towers, and a robust gatehouse. There were likely towers or buildings made of timber within the courtyard, standing against the castle walls. These buildings would have consisted of halls, kitchens, and lodgings for the castle's guests and occupants. 1388, as one of Richard II's key supporters, Sir Richard de Aberbury, was expelled from the royal court by the Lord's Appellate. He retired to Donington to enjoy his final years. 1399. After Sir Richard de Aberbury the Elder died in April 1399, Donington was passed to his son, Richard Aberbury the Younger. 1415. Richard Aberbury the Younger sold Donington Castle to Thomas Chaucer, son of the poet Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer gave Donington Castle to his daughter Alice Chaucer, who later became Duchess of Suffolk. Her husband, the Duke of Suffolk, made Donington his occasional residence. He also made some minor modifications to the castle by enlarging the buildings. Donington Castle would later become the Tudor monarch's royal possession after the family fell out of favor. 1514, Henry VIII granted Donington Castle to Charles Brandon after he became Duke of Suffolk. Charles Brandon added squared windows to Donington Castle. 1535, Donington Castle was taken into royal possession once again. By now, parts of the castle were in a state of decay. Afterwards, it would undergo minor renovations. In the subsequent years, Donington Castle would host royal visits from Henry VIII in 1539 and 1541, Edward VI in 1551, and Elizabeth I in 1568. 1590, Elizabeth Cook, also known as Lady Russell, was given keepership of Donington Castle by Elizabeth I. She was the first woman to hold a keepership title in England. Spooky fact number two. The specter of a woman dressed in regal clothing is often seen outside the gates and will ask guests why the gates have been locked before just vanishing. This ghost is thought to be Elizabeth Cook. 1600. Donington Castle became a private property once again after Elizabeth I gave it to Charles Howard, the first Earl of Nottingham. 1643. Doddington Castle had changed ownership several times. When the English Civil War broke out, it was owned by the parliamentarian John Packer and his family. That year, Charles I sent the royalist Sir John Boys to take Donington away from John Packer. Sir John Boys brought 200 feet soldiers, 25 cavalry, and sufficient cannons to support his efforts. After getting hold of Donington, Sir John Boys quickly enhanced the castle's defenses. He added star-shaped earthworks around the lower slopes of the hill. 
This site was used for gun emplacements. Spooky fact number three. A white ghostly dog also roams the ground, often seen running down the hill and into the woods before disappearing, so don't go petting stray dogs in the area. It might just be a ghost, though we like to think this one is as friendly as Casper the Ghost. 1644. Parliamentarians laid siege to Donington Castle. Lasting 18 months, it was one of the longest sieges in the English Civil War. The castle was attacked many times. Charles I even had to relieve the castle himself twice. 1646. The Royalist forces appeared hopeless, and Sir John Boys requested Charles I's permission to surrender. After obtaining the King's permission, Boys and his troops surrendered Doddington Castle to the Parliamentarians in April 1646. By this point, Donington Castle had sustained significant damages. Later, the Parliamentarians voted to demolish Donington, leaving only the gatehouse. The estate was then given to John Packer. Spooky fact number four. Reports of hundreds of soldiers patrolling the area and fighting are a common occurrence, almost as though the siege of 1644 never actually ended and is still being fought today in the realm of the dead. 1647. John Packer rebuilt Donington's nearby Elizabethan Lodge, which became the new mansion on the estate. It was named Donington Castle House. John Packer then became Donington Castle's last resident. 1946. Donington came under the guardianship of the state once again, this time for good. The state rebuilt the castle's exterior to a height of two feet based on the original layout. 1969. On the 9th of September 1969, English Heritage declared Donington Castle as a Grade I historic building. It was also classified as a scheduled ancient monument and became protected from unauthorized changes. And there we have it, Donington Castle, tales of bloodshed and horrifying specters. To discover more about Donington Castle's history, or to plan a day trip, or to learn about even more tales of horror, bloodshed, and tragedy from hundreds of castle sites around the world, please visit the link in description below, or simply subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.